Welcome to another Rail Fandan production. We are at Cascade Locks, Oregon, looking at the Bridge of the Gods over the Columbia River, where we'll watch a handful of trains from a weekend in May of 2024. The Light Through the Trees is our first train, an eastbound UP grain train. The Columbia River is the state line between Oregon and Washington. The Union Pacific Portland sub follows the river on the Oregon side to the south. The North Shore is Washington and also where the BNSF Fallbridge sub follows the river. Two Class 1 railroads on each side of the river can sometimes make for some very busy action as my regular viewers may remember from previous videos. We will look at both throughout the video. Subscribe and hit the bell if you're enjoying. The old Cascade Lock Canal is seen in the shot here. The Cascade Locks were built in 1896 to allow steamboats to bypass the Cascade Rapids of the time and navigate the river as far as the Dalles. The Bonneville Dam is just west of here and when it was constructed it submerged the lock and rendered it obsolete. The peak of the tallest mountain in the center of the shot is about 3,200 feet above sea level. The UP line is around 100 feet above sea level here. This is a train on the UP rails, but it's actually a train that originates on the Canadian Pacific in Canada. It is heading back to Canada now. The next train is across the river in Washington on the BNSF Fallbridge sub, an eastbound auto rack train.
Now back on the UP for another eastbound train. This one is a potash train from Canada heading back to the Canadian Pacific, or should I now say the CPKC. It is not uncommon to catch a full CPKC consist like this one on the UP, and it makes for some great variety. There is a neat boat incoming. This is a small cruise ship called American Jazz. It runs river cruises on the Columbia and Snake Rivers between Portland, Oregon and Clarkston, Washington. The Bridge of the Gods is a toll bridge that crosses one of the most narrow sections of the Columbia River and it is operated by the Port of Cascade Locks. It was opened in 1926, almost 100 years old. I thought it was pretty killer timing to be up in the air and filming while this ship came through, so decided to spend some time with it. I sure would love to take a trip on this someday. A guy can dream, right? Looking in exactly the same direction, we see a westbound BNSF grain train making good time into the night. to catch a Ferromex unit bringing up the rear.
Next is the eastbound Portland section of the Amtrak Empire Builder on the BNSF. In the same spot again is a westbound BNSF manifest train. Back on the UP side in Oregon is an eastbound UP intermodal train with a westbound UP grain train waiting in Cascade Lock siding. The grain train is yet another from the CPKC in Canada. Next is another neat boat. This is the Columbia Gorge Sternwheeler which operates right here out of Cascade Locks. A quick internet search tells me it offers tours with meals like brunch and dinner. This Sternwheeler was built nearby in Hood River and was launched in 1983. It is a replica of the Sternwheelers that plied the Columbia beginning in the 1850s. I love my trains, but I definitely think this is cool too.
Now we catch another BNSF manifest train, this time heading east. The last train is the westbound Empire Builder. At Spokane, the Empire Builder splits in half. Part of the train heads straight for Seattle on the old Great Northern Main Line, and the other portion heads southwest to Portland, which is what you see here. Some of us of the Pacific Northwest like to refer to this as the Baby Builder. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.